What's up, Fire Family? Hey, Fire Family. Happy Friday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a all signs collective reading. So this will be for all the zodiac signs. I'm going to split it up. All right, so all 12 of you guys are going to get a reading. All 12 zodiac signs. <laughs> so this will be... Um, me looking into their current feelings towards you guys okay we are going to start with leo because i'm doing the reading based on the views okay so it's going to go in this order leo capricorn libra taurus sagittarius virgo aries gemini scorpio aquarius pisces cancer all righty um so yes let's hop into this reading as always send you guys lots of love like healing energy and abundance xoxo all right, y'all, so let's hop in. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what their current feelings are towards you guys. I will be timestamping this reading. I'm going to write down the timestamps as I do the zodiac signs, okay? Um, and I'm just going to pull a couple cards, clarify, pull a love message, and see uh, where the energy is at between you guys, okay? So it's not going to be anything, like, in-depth. We're just going to I'm gonna focus on um, each time for a couple minutes and just see, you know, where your person's feelings are towards you. And then go from there. Alrighty, so yeah, let's see y'all. Let's see. Um Damn, it was something I was about to say, but it's fine. Alright, y'all, let's hop in. We're starting with Leo. Okay, Leo. Let's see. All right, Leo, let's see um, what your person's current feelings are towards you. All right, Leo placements. Universe and Spirit, give me messages for Leo placements. How does your person currently feel towards them? Leo placements. Leo placements. Leo placements. Leo placements. So we have the page of cups some of you guys have an apology coming in this can be somebody new this can be somebody flirty with you guys two of pentacles four of wands in reverse somebody's trying to be nice to you guys right now um it seems like things are kind of like mm, up and down right now between you guys with this two of pentacles four of wands in reverse let's do all these four of wands in reverse you know you may be um just over the situation between when this person with that four wands reverse that is fire energy. You got the wands there. You guys can be dealing with an earth or a, a water sign. Let's see. All right, let's see Leo placements. Why is this four wands in reverse? Why is this four wands in reverse? The higher font. Yeah, this person is fighting. Well, they're trying to save this relationship. Mm -hmm. Somebody doesn't want things to end. You guys could be, you know. Just going through some things right now, some ups and downs with the two of pentacles here. It could be a tourist involved, but this person is definitely trying to keep the relationship or like, you know, they're trying to keep their marriage or this relationship together with the hair font here. You have five of wands reverse. So this is, um, it could be that you guys have disagreed about certain things, but trying to resolve the issues between you guys with that five of wands reverse. So a peaceful resolution. We have the seven of swords that came out. All right, so some type of secrets came out. If not, this can be somebody. Um, let me see. Why we have the seven of swords in here? Oh, the lovers. Okay. Somebody can be acting suspicious in this relationship, but not really doing nothing, but coming off as suspicious. Okay, their love is, they're really focused on you. They love you. They want this relationship. They are still attracted to you. Um, it could come off as if they're making some type of, of excuses or you feel like they're up to something. But there must be some type of imbalance or something on their end because the two of pentacles is here. Or maybe you guys are just going through some ups and downs right now and you just may feel some type of way, Leo. Maybe just overthinking things. That's way too many. Let's see. Let's see why this two of pentacles is here for Leo. Go on to the two of pentacles for Leo. Why is this two of pentacles here for Leo? The moon. So, things were hidden, okay? But I also feel like this is fear. All right, um, because this person 
kind of fears that things aren't going to work out between you guys with the moon. Just looking at all this energy here. Not just the moon, but just looking at all the energy. They fear that things aren't going to work out. So this person could be like, you know, a little bit more loving, apologizing. I miss you. How was your day kind of thing? Because I don't feel like they're trying to kiss ass or anything, Leo. But it's like, this person still wants this relationship. They still want things to work. We have the four of wands here. We have judgment. They want your forgiveness, okay? Could be a Gemini. We have Pisces energy here. We have Taurus energy here. It could be any sign, though. But let's pull the love card and just see what's going on with this person right now. Let's see. Leo, what's going on with the Leo placements? Give me a message for Leo placements. Leo placements. All right, we have loyalty, dedication, trust, and reliable so somebody is loyal to you or you are loyal to somebody but somebody is also trying to prove that they are loyal to you that they are dedicated to you they want you to trust them and they want this relationship to work out and we have coffin yeah new beginnings so somebody is wanting some type of new beginning between you guys there could have been some ending or some type of ending between you guys but they're hoping that there can also be a new beginning and somebody is like no i'm gonna be much you know, much better this time. I've always been loyal. Or maybe this person has just been loyal. And they just are going through a lot of things. Okay? Leo, um, we have the death card. The relationship is over. No second chances. So, some of you guys can also feel like you are too loyal. Okay? Sometimes being too loyal is... I mean, not saying it like that. But, you know, they say loyalty can kill you. Because sometimes you're too loyal to a situation. To a person that you end up hurting yourself in the end. Being loyal to this person. So... Maybe that's what you guys experience. And you're just like, no second chances. Not into our, it says grow and transform. What's dead is dead. So you guys are like, not until I see you guys grow and transform and make some type of change. I don't know if I can be loyal or dedicated or focused on this relationship. But it's like the energy has flip flop Because now this person is loyal and dedicated and all in. So, you know, maybe it was like a little wake up call for them. Okay, Leo? So that is Leo's reading. Alrighty. That's from my Leo's. Next, we got Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn. Capricorn placement, Spirit Universe. Please give me a message for Capricorn placements. Please give me a love message for Capricorn placements. How does their person currently feel towards them? Their current feelings, Capricorn placements. We have the Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords in reverse, Three of Pentacles. Kind of like, I wouldn't say kind of like Leo's, but what I'm getting Capricorn is like, um, your person is, um, they're just kind of like, damn, like, somebody messed up, they lied, they did something, and they're, they're like, they're in this energy of like, damn, like, I messed up, like, what, what can I do to save this relationship, okay, so, let's see. See how this four cups is here because you got them like they're in their feelings okay it could be a water sign ace of swords trying to gain clarity trying to figure things out trying to strategize things um also they want to come to you with all the facts this is like strong communication so wanting to finally communicate some type of truth to you or tell you like what's going on they want to clear up some lies or some rumors or something that was said because the ace of swords is a reverse next to it so they know that this relationship is on the line and they're just like, no, let me clear things up. Let me fix this. Um, let me see. The death card in reverse. Yeah, there's some negativity around this relationship. And your person is refusing to let go because they feel like they're being honest and truthful. Or they want you to hear their side of the story when it comes to something. It could be a Scorpio involved. So they want to hear their they want you to hear their side of the story. Okay. Somebody is also glad about an ending with somebody else with this energy here. Yep. See the ten of pentacles in reverse. Somebody ended things with somebody. All right. And with the two of cups. And the Ten of Swords here, somebody, your person feels like Capricorn, like, look, that's behind us now. I ended things. I'm glad that's over with. Um, let me be honest with you or let me tell you my side of the story because I want to work on this with you. I want to be with you. I know there was some betrayal and some deception, but hear me out kind of thing. Like, like just hear me out for a minute. Like, let me just tell you what was really going on. Because I also do feel like somebody did say something that wasn't true. Or somebody try to make things worse than what they were. We have the tennis. Oh, yeah. Knight of Swords. Reverse. Somebody is, they're lying. You can't trust this person. You can't trust this source, this person, what they're saying here. Knight of Swords. Reverse. They're acting out of emotion, feelings, like they're upset. 
Okay, so they're saying anything. They're just yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, running their fucking mouth. Just saying whatever. Because they feel some type of way about maybe this ending. Okay. Um, or they just feel some type of way about how things ended. Okay. But your person is like, look, hear me out. Let me explain. You know, like, you're who I want to be with. I'm attracted to you. I'm not with that person anymore. Because we do have the two of cups here. So let's see what's going on in Capricorn. Why is this not a source in your Let's see. Yep, see, somebody is mad over the relationship. Yep, see, because they thought what they had. Okay, so they, this is a third party situation. They ended it with the third party. The third party thought what they had was stronger than what y'all had. Or it could have been where, like, they left somebody they were with to be with you, but they thought that still that you were this another person that they dealt with or you were just some average person and that what they had was stronger than what y'all had and the person you guys are dealing with cut them off and they're glad that it's over with and they want to focus on you now. It could be a Leo involved. Okay, so there could be a Leo. Uh, this could be a Capricorn Leo relationship. Um, but it's, it's still, it's like somebody feels like something isn't fair. They don't like the way something ended. We have beginnings here. Okay, so new direction, fresh start, and, and chance. So you guys are starting some type of new beginning here. Or oh, that's what they want with you, Capricorn, since I'm the new beginning. Let's see. We have the runner. Fear of intimacy running away. Okay, so what I'm getting is this person kept running away from the relationship. Okay? Because they had another situation they were dealing with. I'm not getting the runner as in like they were running away from you and they want to be with you. They feel like they needed to run to in this other situation. And for a minute, they kept going back because they needed to end things. Ten of Pentacles are in reverse. So now that's done and over with. But things didn't end the way they expected it to or the way they wanted it to. So there is an issue. Some of you guys could be Twin Flames. Okay, we have the Twin Flame card. Alrighty. And this could have also been some type of runner chaser type thing. Okay. It could have been. We have Healing Heart. So Healing Heart break, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. Somebody is coming out of some type of abusive relationship or healing from some type of heartbreak or some toxic situation or some type of abuse here or some type of addiction, okay? So the person they were with could have been like that Capricorn, all right? So it's just going to take some time and some healing for this person with this person, but they did what needed to be done and that they walked away. They ended things, okay? So that is Capricorn's reading. All right, let's see who is the next. How does that person currently feel? So we got the Emperor Aries energy. Knight of Wands in reverse. Temperance in reverse. You guys can be dealing with a Sag, Aries, Leo, Fire energy. I got all fire energy. And we got two majors. So you guys are upset about something, Libra. And it's about some type of back and forth or on and off energy. It's like the universe is kind of upset because the universe is like Libra. Y'all did all this healing, did all this work, and now you're back in a situation that you were once in. So y'all are repeating some type of lesson here. Okay? So y'all could have been dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius, but y'all are upset and hot about something mad because you guys gave someone the benefit of the doubt or you guys gave in to a situation that is just, it's not stable. And you guys thought it was going to lead to commitment here. This emperor is here. But there's something about this emperor that is, I don't know. Let's see. The four of wands. Some of you guys are finding out about some type of marriage or some type of relationship. All right. 
somebody is celebrating something, somebody has a relationship, some type of commitment, somebody followed somebody or pulled up on somebody or found out somebody's information, somebody could have Googled, searched somebody, looked somebody up, seen that they were married or seen that they had some type of relationship or business with somebody or something like that. Somebody got into some type of paperwork or documents or something like that. And so that you guys are researching somebody. Let's see. Why is this emperor here? Going to the emperor. Page of cups. Yeah, I see somebody coming off nice, sweet. Um, coming off as if they're stable. They got it together. Two of swords here. Mm. Yeah. Not really telling you much. So you got to dig and get more information. You're like, oh, this person is coming off nice. They seem sweet, but I know it's more to them. And the way they've been acting lately has been funny. Are they been coming late at night, coming at certain times, certain days? So you guys are noticing something within them. The fool is here. Yeah, see? So for some of you guys, they come in at night. Or they come see you at night, out first thing in the morning. Or for some of you guys, they're coming after their shift or before their shift or something like that. I don't know. For some of you guys, it's just like something has switched up or changed with this person and you noticed it. And they're offering less than what they were offering before. See, look, the emperor, they got to offer less because they can't keep up with giving to both situations or something like that. The king of wands, somebody very sexy, very attractive, older. Mm -hmm. it's, it's putting a toll on them, the ten of wands. And that's why they're offering less and that's why their schedule or something has switched up or changed. Hmm. You guys are going to find out something. You guys are going to look into some type of documents or something. And I know I looked at... I know we're looking at their feelings towards you, but I feel like this is the main focus for you, Libra. Because what I'm getting is like, this person, I mean, looking at their feelings towards you, it's like, to, what it's showing me is like, they're just, they're living a double life and they're not telling you everything, but y'all are going to get to the bottom of it. You know, it's not really telling me how they feel. It's just pretty much telling me their background and their lifestyle and what's going on with them. You know? Let's see. That's how do they feel about Libra. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. So you do make this person happy. You make this person feel good. Yeah, they do come see you. They visit you a lot. They're around you, your children, your family. Or this is somebody that's telling you they want to have and be in a family with you. I mean, build and have a family with you. We have Poker Face. That's usually the Emperor. And we have the Emperor here twice. So two in two different places. Taking a chance. See risk. Not showing hand. Gambling. Because there's something that they're doing that you don't know about. Or there's something that's going on that they, like, they, you don't, you don't see their hand. Like, you don't know what has been dealt to them. Like, you don't know what's in their, their hand. You get what I'm saying? Like, so let me see. The coffin is here. And then we have uh, purifying. And we have separation. So sadness, missing you, thinking about you. If you guys haven't separated from this person now, you guys will in the future. And you're not going to understand why this person is separating from you. But it has to do with, like, them, they're, they're doing too much. They're doing too much. We have beauty. This person is, you know, attracted to you. But at the same time, we have a death card. So somebody is also feeling like, okay, maybe I need to end this situation. It could be on their end that they want to end this because they feel like they didn't put themselves in a situation shit with you. Yeah, see, eight of cups and a death card. They feel like it's safe and best to walk away because they got too much stuff going on. And what they were giving you are you know offering you before they can't keep up with that they got too much going on too many responsibilities they can't afford two relationships this person cannot afford two relationships okay so yeah it's a lot all right let's see that was libra let's see what's going on with taurus taurus All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with Taurus placements. All right, Taurus placements. All right, let me get comfortable. Comfortable. I said comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> okay, let's see. placements how does towards person kind of feel towards placements you got the king of wands mm. they feel stuck they got some stuff going on that you don't know about but 
they're going to like keep showing up, keep pursuing, keep being around you. They feel stuck or something is going on in their life. They feel kind of stuck. Um, because this is like, remember the King of Wands, this is behind them. His back is on this. So there's certain things that you don't know about this person. So they haven't told you everything that's going on in their life or around them or what they got going on. Let's see why the Six of Swords is in reverse. Why the Six of Swords in reverse? Why the Six of Swords in reverse? Mm. Yeah, they're still not, they're not giving much detail or information. You're still learning or getting to know this person. There's certain things that they haven't told you. Oh, yeah. They're bottling up something, meaning like they're holding on to something energetically. Something is bothering them. Um, but seeing you and being around you is like a breath of fresh air. It's like it's a relief. It's like a who's like, you know what I'm saying? So being around you is is good for them, but they are there's something that they're holding in or not telling you. Um, there's something that they don't want you to know, or they feel like you don't need to know. Four of Swords, yeah. See, they're not being honest with you about something. But they also feel like that's their business and that they don't need to tell you because they're they're keeping it in. Like they're bottling it in. And they feel like as long as they're around you, pursuing you and giving you attention, that's all that matters. But they got some stuff going on. It could be something financial too. Um, this looks like relationship issues, but it's tied to them financially. So they're tied to something financially. Are like there's some type of financial obligation or something financially that they're going through that they're not telling you about. They're gonna keep in the dark and keep things hidden. This person usually is very secretive. They don't really like telling their business, and they feel like they don't know you well enough to tell you. Are they just feel like okay, like this is my business. This is what I got going on. But outside of that, like I said, they're gonna keep showing up, coming towards you, pursuing you, taking you out and doing things. But they have just a lot going on behind the scenes. So we have the emperor and then we have the page of wands reverse their attitude can be kind of like uh, sometimes you know where you're like okay like dang what's wrong with you like why you got a problem why you got an attitude you know um so it could just be the situation that they're dealing with and i feel like every time you ask them something or you ask them like what's wrong with them or what's going on they have an excuse or a lie as to what's going on because for some reason they don't want you to know i don't think they're embarrassed but they just don't feel like the timing is right or they don't want you to know what's going on in their life and another with another person or uh just in general or just something they got going on they don't want to tell you they feel like they'll figure it out and handle it but something is something about their finances for some of you guys now let's see taurus let's see we have healthy choices so self-love and self-care being happier love and life so like i said somebody just like i said they they just want to show you the good side of them they want you to see the good and happy and healthy side of them they don't want to put you all in the mix of what they got going on. Or they don't want you to see them down or sad or whatever they got going on. Yeah, the dragonfly. Lighthearted and adapt. Finding out and change. Things coming to light. So you will eventually find out what's going on. We have paradise. But this person, um, their goal is to make you happy. They want to enjoy time with you and spend time with you. And then we have trapped. Stuck, tied down, and cat. Yeah. See, they feel stuck. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. Like something is bothering them or irritating them. But they're really into this connection. See, look, spiritual connection. And they want to keep it that way. They're like, look, I'm into you, Taurus. I like you. But behind the scene, they have something going on. Try not to be so loud, baby, please. Okay? So, yeah. They got something going on, Taurus. And they don't want you to know. They don't want to bother you with their problems and their issues and stuff. So, they're just keeping it to themselves. Okay, Sagittarius. Person, 
for y'all to see Sagittarius placements. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, the Empress, King of Cups, and Inverse. There could be a child coming, Sagittarius, or you guys can be due in um, um, during Sagittarius season. Okay. Um, we do have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in reverse. All right. Um, let's see what he's all about or what she's all about. Let's see what this person is all about. Y'all around somebody that is a liar, a cheater, a heartbreaker, a deceiver. Let me stop being extra, but um, let me see. They got it really good with you. And I don't know why they up here acting a fool. They got too comfortable doing something. Um, they're about to get caught up though. You about to catch them up. They're about to get caught and their little acts and what they got going on. But you know what is crazy is that they're going to get caught up. And I don't know why. I don't want to say it like this, Sagittarius, because I know this sounds weird. But they're going to fuck up, but it's going to bring y'all together and make y'all much stronger. Um, Somebody is going to do something. Somebody stepped out. But they want to fight for this relationship. They don't want to end the relationship. Um... I don't know if somebody is not as experienced as you. I mean, yeah, as you are because I it's somebody knows what they have. The Empress is here. They're not crazy. Like they know what they have. But I don't know if it was temptation or what. But whatever this is, it's gonna bring you guys together stronger. Like it's it's gonna make them really realize the love they have for you, if that makes sense. And it's and I and I don't like to say it like that, but it's like Sometimes things happen for a reason. We never know why the universe, God, spirit, whoever you guys believe in, does the things that they do. But they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna fuck up, or they have already. And I don't see if this is like your make it or break it period. It's more like I got caught up, kind of thing. You know? Let's go to the page of Pentacles. Yeah, because the eight take, I mean, sorry, ace of pentacles in reverse can be taking things for granted, taking what you got for granted. And I told you, like, see, I told you, judgments here, they already know and see what they got, but it's going to make them really realize and see what they got now. Mm -hmm. And for others of you, they're seeing that they don't have this bonding connection with, with anybody else. And for some of you guys, I don't know why, but your person has had the urge to cheat or do something. And for some of y'all, it was not even worth it. It was not even worth it. Mm -mm. They need to be straightforward with you. I don't feel like they're going to be straightforward with you until you say something to them about it. You may have already asked them. For some of you guys, I feel like it's um, come to your dreams or um, they can just tell the way you're acting, the way you're moving. Like you're coming from a hurt place because you know something's wrong. You know your person and they've been holding on to this. Yes, but it's going to come out and they, are, they need to be straightforward. Man. Yeah. Because they dreamed of someone like you. You are the person that they want to be with. For some of you guys, they're ready for another child. Or they, they want to have a child or something like that. Or you guys will have a child within like the next year or so. Or there will be a pregnancy within like the next year or so. But this person um, unfortunately did something. And I don't like when t stuff like that comes up. But it's like you just never know what the universe has planned. Let's look at message for Sagittarius. We have hammer, sabotage, and rebuild. Persistent, working on it, repairing. So they want to repair this relationship. That would make sense. Girl with the snake. See? They use somebody to... They both use each other. Whoever this other person is that they mess around with. Abundance. Positive mindset manifests. Yeah, see? They want an abundant relationship with you. Or 
they're going to be like, dang, like I knew, like I really see that I got something good and that they don't want to mess this up. And they, they just wanted to be happy and abundant moving forward. Yep. Self-indulgence. Yeah. They were thinking about themselves, but now they want to focus on you and they want to heal this relationship. Okay. Sagittarius. So that is the message I got for y'all. Okay, Sagittarius. Next is a Virgo. What's going on, Virgo? Virgo place. Right, Virgo placements. Let's see how your person is currently feeling towards you. Virgo placements. How is your person currently feeling towards you guys? All the pentacles, universe. These empress keeps coming out. Let's see. Okay, so your person is. They know what they want. They want to work things out with you. Could be a Libra or a Taurus that you guys are dealing with, but they are ready to do the damn thing, make some progress. Okay, they are ready to take this relationship out the code. They want to move forward. This is you guys coming together and things being much better this time. You guys on the same page with the King of Swords here and the Empress. Both speaking some truth, both telling each other how you feel. Okay, so yes, get that out. Let this person know how you feel. But they're going to let you know how they feel as well. Okay, so let's see. I forgot what Pentacles in the Empress. Five of Swords. So someone couldn't accept the loss or ending. Yeah. Someone felt defeated and they didn't like that. They didn't like that things were stagnant between you guys. Could be a Pisces. All right. Someone was having a hard time looking at things from your perspective or changing their perspective. Um. And now, because we remember we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, so it's opposite because things are changing now. So they change your perspective. Yep, see death card in reverse. They're not letting go. Could be a Scorpio you guys are dealing with. But they refuse to let this go. You mean a lot to this person. I'm going to the Empress. Yep, see the five of pentacles is here. So both you guys were just like just feeling broken and hurt. Okay. When it came to this relationship, you feel like they weren't there for you. They feel like you weren't there for them. I felt like there was no boundary set. And now that's about to change because we have the nine of pentacles here so both you guys are doing your own work so individually so virgo this can be you manifesting getting yourself together coming back together stepping into that nine of pentacles i'm more independent i'm doing me i'm doing my own thing you know going back to that comfortable lifestyle or things you guys are doing and focusing more on the self so when it comes to your relationship with both you guys it's more about the self so you guys both focusing on yourself is what's going to help this relationship move forward okay um but then also setting boundaries with each other so they're doing their work over here you're doing your work over here but the work that you guys are doing separately is going to help bring you guys together and make the relationship better all together okay um yeah see the queen of wands stepping back into your confidence inspiring each other yep but also this time around though virgo when you guys do get back together you're going to be more focused on yourself, but still focus on the relationship. But by you staying focused on yourself, more abundance, more happiness, more things are going to come into your 
life okay and we have the devil in reverse capricorn energy so you guys are detaching yourself from the negativity you guys are like nope i don't want to fall back into that old pattern with you i don't want to do this i'm tired of the toxic cycle or relationship we had let's build let's be better let's do something different and that's where you guys are at Yep, see, you guys are changing your perspective. Both of you guys are, which is really good. Three of Pentacles, putting plans in action, making things work. So both of you guys know what you guys want. Both of you guys have changed your perspective. Both of you guys understand each other. And both of you guys are going to compromise and be willing to accept what the other person wants this time. Okay? So that looks really good. I just put some messages for Virgo. We have running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. So when I see this and looking at the energy, I feel like somebody was in, invisible. Somebody felt like they needed to withdraw or disappear for a while and get themselves back together. You know, figure their life out, get things back on track. We have paradise. All right. A vacation is needed. All right. Y'all need to spend some time alone. Laugh, be happy, eat good, fuck good. Like just all of that. Okay. Off an island, off the beach somewhere. Okay. Y'all need to rekindle this relationship we have unspoken regrets lost words disappointed so there's a lot of things that are unspoken or things that neither one of you guys um spoke about or said that needs to be said to the other person even if it's hurtful and the reason why i said even if it's hurtful is because it needs to come out and with you guys looking at things from a different perspective and understanding each other and set boundaries sometimes the truth hurts but it helps and heals the relationship because everything's not going to be good peaches and gold and in, in gold in a relationship okay things are going to be sour black blue hurtful okay that's the part of a relationship it's not going to always be peaches and cream so whether it's the good the bad the ugly y'all need to let this person know how you feel you need to let this person know how you felt about the relationship before what they need to do what they need to fix what they need to change and you and they do the same with you and y'all both accept how the other person feels without getting mad without stomping out without having an attitude without calling it quits without arguing it's a mutual understanding it's you guys maturing and being civil with each other and be like you know what yeah i fucked up or yeah i did this yeah i did that but we're both different now or we're both about to be different so that we can have this relationship because y'all both want to be with each other but what stops y'all from being with each other is y'all flaws, y'all ways, and not understanding each other's perspectives, feelings, thoughts, not able to take negative negative criticism or whatever it is, okay? So we have death. See, and y'all keep ending things, but then don't want it to be over. Or they keep ending things with you and not wanting it to be over. This can all be avoided if y'all were honest and just spoke y'all truth and was able to deal with it so for some of you virgo it's like you can dish out how you feel but when they dish out how they feel towards you it's a problem don't let it be a problem except to hear what they have to say and by or vice versa okay because it might be that it's the other way around okay take out how it resonates all right let's see Aries. Sorry that y'all hear Carson. I'm probably about to shut my door in a minute. Because he's on his game. He's gaming. And he's be allowed talking to his friends. Hope y'all can't hear. It's crazy because I said Aries. And he's an Aries. Reverse Aries, are y'all mad? Are y'all upset? Male or female? Don't let nobody push you. Push your buttons. Let me shut my door real quick because this boy, this boy, this boy. I would text him, but he probably ain't gonna get that text. Okay. I like to record my door open, but it's fine. Let me adjust my fan. Sorry, Aries. Sorry, y'all. Oh, it's like when I got to Aries, it got hot up in here. <laughs> Maybe y'all hot. <laughs> I'm about something. Okay. So let's see, Aries. Aries. All right, Aries. Let's 
I'm gonna just redo it. Cause I know how to stop. All right, Aries placements. Aries placements. Five of Cups. Knight of Cups. The World Card Universe. So this person is in their feelings because you won't accept their apology. The Five of Cups is here with the Knight of Cups and the World Card is in reverse. Some of you guys are just, you're in your feelings, you're hurt about something, and they're trying to apologize or come towards you. And you don't want to be bothered, you don't want to hear it, you're not accepting their apology. You're just like, bye. Okay? So let's see what this is about. Why is the Five of Cups here? Six of Swords Universe. Yeah, it's difficult. It's been hard. You pull back, okay? You're in your feelings about something. You don't like you don't like the situation that you're in with this person. You don't like what they did. You don't like how they made you feel. And it's just gonna take you some time. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. You still love and care for this person. Could be a cancer. But right now you're hurt and you don't want to hear from them. You don't uh, no, I mean they're apologizing, yes, but you are just like I it, whatever they did or whatever went on, you just don't want to hear it right now, Aries. Why is the world card reverse? The star. I mean, you guys will I would give it a couple days. Emotionally, you guys are gonna change. Like like what I'm getting is like in the next few days, like your emotions, your feelings towards the situation is gonna change. Okay, you're not gonna be stuck in this energy for long. Um and it's been a while since you have given back to yourself, okay? You feel like you always put this person first. You feel like you care about this person deeply. And you feel like you always, like, put yourself on hold or delay things or you jump for them or do the things that they, you know, need from you. You're always there. You're always open. You're always available. And, again, like I said, I don't know what they did, but right now, you just don't want to hear it. When you're just like, you know what, I just need some time to myself to figure out how I feel about all of this together, you know, all together. Um, you guys have something coming in for you guys, some type of wish coming coming in, like something that you guys wish to pray for. It's on its way. It's delayed though, but it's still coming. It's gonna come before the end of the year. All right, you're gonna. It's gonna. Um, it's gonna come out of nowhere. Let's see why this Knight of Cups is here. Three of Cups. So this person is offering to take you out. They're apologizing. They want to see you. We have the Moon here. Um, we have the Hermit in reverse with the Moon Virgo, Pisces Cancer energy. Yeah, you're ignoring them. You feel like they need to grow up. You're like, you need to grow up. Like, now you want to take me out. Now you want to apologize kind of thing. Hmm. Somebody wants to share some type of good news with you, though, Aries. It has to do with work or some type of financial thing. Financial situation. Let me see something. What is my pentacles here? Because they feel like things are going to be much better and more stable and they are. So, I don't know if you guys are arguing about, like, finances or something like that. Or if they pushed you away due to their financial situation. You know, and I'm not trying to say it like this. But, you know, when men are going through things financially, they can be assholes, you know. So, um, I don't know what this is. But, somebody wants to make it up to you. Like, somebody wants to apologize to you for treating you some type of way. Or for talking to you some type of way. Or dealing with you in some type of way or something like that. Somebody wishes that they can pay you back for all the things that you've done for them. And, and they genuinely mean that. But um, let's see. Let's pull some. Let's pull a message. Let's see. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. We have Paradise. Yeah. Somebody could be offering to take you on a trip. We do have the sun here with Paradise. And wherever the trip is at, like wherever they're offering to take you, it can be on some type of island or um, somewhere where it's still hot on a cruise or something like that maybe some of you guys are going on a cruise we have elusive intangible dishonest trickery so they did something they were being dishonest lying only you but they're telling you that they only want you though what is elusive here for justice some type of truth came out mm, and it's causing you to be distant so again i don't know what happened aries i will spill the tea on my other deck but we're just trying to do quick messages here they did something and you like look you ain't gonna butter me up like no motherfucking biscuit because you wasn't thinking like that when you did what you did. Okay? So, you like, yeah, no, ain't no buttering me up this time. 
You need some time to really think about it. You need to sit on this for a minute, Aries. I get it. I understand. So, yeah, some of you guys are just like, mm-mm, can't do it. Can't do it. So, but y'all will be, some of y'all will be back together. But right now, yeah, somebody's also going to take a vacation or a trip by themselves. Okay? Somebody is like, I need to get away for a couple of days. So, some of y'all are packing y'all bags. Y'all out. Y'all out, Aries. Somebody's also about to come into some money, Aries. Y'all are about to come into some money. Let's see. Oh, damn. My pen dropped. Sorry, y'all. I'm being lazy. I'm probably getting it. So, we about to get another one. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Let's see. placements placements my placements all right look y'all came out look that shock energy Gemini the lovers eight of wands three of wands okay so a lot of sex, a lot of good times, energy. It's so like, yes, Gemini. Okay. Somebody is trying to move things forward with you. Somebody is thinking about you. Somebody is being consistent. Could be a fire sign. Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. Somebody is trying to see what y'all are doing. Like, are you free tonight? What's going on? It's a lot of communication, a lot of talking. All right. A lot of I want to come see you and stuff like that. Why well, are they the ones here? Look, they in love, love, love. <laughs> Gemini, you got somebody in love with you, okay? Look, get it, bitch, okay? All right, Gemini, yes. Y'all got somebody in love, okay? They in love and going crazy. All right, look, I gotta roll the tongue crazy, okay? Nine of Pentacles, and they think you are bad, okay? So, yes, they are in love. I'm gonna just stop it there, Gemini. Damn, y'all have a good reading, okay? This is in their current feelings. Why is this the wands here? Look, the Empress. Some for some of you guys, somebody is what they call it, spinning the block. Is that the new is that what they say? When they circle back around. <laughs> Cause y'all for some of y'all, y'all have already been with this person, Gemini. Okay, you guys can have a child with this person. Could be a Libra Taurus, could be um a fire sign, another Gemini. But look, three of cups. Y'all about y'all been spending time together, weekends, like weekdays with each other because for some of y'all y'all don't really go out and have company on the weekday but y'all been spending the weekday together going to sleep late okay let me find out gemini all right oh y'all been having sex staying up late at night all right but there is a little fear here there is a little fear there's a little fear here because y'all like mm -mm, this too good to be true y'all like this motherfucker wasn't like this before y'all like they dicking me down they come over three four days a week they spend the time with me. They not getting up in the middle of the night leaving. They staying until I got to leave for work or until I got to go to my remote job. Like, this person is active and around y'all, okay? Shit, they in the kitchen. What, uh, um, what, what's the name say? Um, booty all out, cooking bacon, okay? They got their ass out, dick out, all out, just cooking bacon, okay? Scrambling eggs with cheese and everything. Making fresh squeezed corn juice, okay? Up in this mug, all right? Shoot. Run into Kroger. All right, at Kroger, as soon as that bitch open, trying to get you some groceries, okay? So they can cook you breakfast, make you some toast and butter, all type of stuff, um, Gemini. So let me see what y'all got going on. Because this looks like a, um, yeah. Somebody is like, mm, I want my old thing back. I want my baby back. We have heart song, inner knowing telepathy, intuition. So, deep down inside, the they know that there's something there. We have Deja Vu, past life, karma, that they know they listen. All right? Y'all have a past life relationship, so y'all been together in the past life. We have old school. Y'all can be dealing with somebody that's older than y'all or old school. But if not, whatever happened between y'all is playing over and over in their head again. And they're just like, look, I got to do things different. I need to win over Gemini. We have not today, though. Boundaries and hurt. So, you guys avoided this person for a while. And it looks like y'all gave in. Mm -hmm. Y'all have rejected them for a while. 
and then y'all gave in. But that's what y'all are scared of with the with the consequence card. Y'all are like, dang, like if I give into this, will this be a good thing? Should I not? Like, what should I do? So y'all are just kind of like torn right now, Gemini. Like, damn, what should I do? Let's see. Hmm. That was a love card. Let me see. Yeah, we got the heart fog, mixed signals. I don't know, Gemini. Y'all over here like, what should I do? What should I do? Some of y'all are wanting to rebuild with this person. Oh, yeah. somebody been sneaking in. Somebody been sneaking in, Gemini. Y'all been sneaking this person in. Or y'all haven't been telling people that y'all fucking again or talking again or messing around again. Because it's certain people that either are hating on y'all, don't want y'all to be together, or you just keeping it a secret for right now just in case it don't work out. But they all in. All of them in, Gemini. Okay? Tell them you like your pancakes light and fluffy with honey butter on them. Okay? Because that land of lakes, that honey butter, that's how I make the boys. I be getting the, um, what is it? The Hungry Jack light and fluffy. And then we get the pancake. They get the syrup. But I um, put like the land of, lake, land of lakes, the honey butter. They be tearing them just up. I'm not a pancake person, but they love pancakes. So on Saturdays, I make them pancakes every Saturday. Um, that's like their little thing. So, tell them you like I'm light and fluffy. <laughs> What's up, Scorpio? Happy birthday, Scorpio. Alright, Scorpio. Scorpio placement. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Right, two of cups that quarter in red scorpio energy is coming up somebody is refusing to let go could be a cancer or another scorpio somebody is still in love with you and they are refusing to let go of you ten of pentacles you are theirs you are who they want to be with they want to marry you be with you settle down with you all of that yeah they're like where you think you going how about this person feels like you ain't going never they're like, you is not going nowhere. All right, let's see. What is the death flag reverse? King of Swords, yeah. See, this is somebody that knows what they want, and they ain't like, mm -mm, you ain't going nowhere. They're like, you're mine. Somebody is ready to commit to you, Scorpio. Okay? Yeah, that soft approach doesn't work with you. Somebody's about to be very aggressive and tell you that they want a new beginning, and they mean it, and they, they mean what they say, they say what they mean, and they're like, look, I'm tired of the bullshit. Do you fucking hear me? I want to be with you. Stop playing games with me. You know what we got. You know it's not over. That's how somebody feels. They like, stop playing games with me. With this two of cups, ace of swords, they made it very clear what they want. Two of wands. I'm going to move this forward. They said they tired of the bullshit. They tired of you walking away. They tired of you changing your mind. They're not going to walk away no more. They don't want to leave this, you know, they don't want to leave this relationship. So, yeah, they know things didn't work out in the past. Um, there are some things that they regret, things they were holding on to, things that they didn't tell you about. They know they made you feel some type of way, but for the most part, they feel like what y'all got is 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 deep it's there it's a connection there's a bond 
they're like, you know, let's let's stop hurting other people. People that we don't really want to be with and let's be together. Somebody is also thinking practical, thinking long term, and ready to make steady progress towards something more serious with you. All right, so they're like, whatever's in your plans, whatever you want, Scorpio, they're willing to give it to you. your limit with this final straw breaking point but we have second chance making a man's opportunity and plans you. euphoria chasing thrills joy laughter so if somebody misses laughing with you being around you you made them really happy y'all enjoyed yourselves when y'all went out y'all went nice places did nice things the butterfly. So evolving and growth, next phase, healing inner child, release in the past. At the bottom, we do have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. So this person, you mean a lot to this person. And they know that they mean a lot to you. So they're ready to take things to the next level with you, Scorpio. So what y'all gonna do? So they better have a damn birthday gift too. All right, because you ain't got time. All right, Scorpio. So let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius, y'all better get y'all views up. I miss reading for y'all. Y'all haven't got y'all views up in a long time. It's been months. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius Christmas. y'all are getting what y'all want okay so i see a lot of happiness around you guys are you are you really happy about something yeah somebody like yeah y'all about to start feeling alive happy feeling loved valued appreciated yeah the worst is not behind you guys you guys are going through a lot of ups and downs in this relationship or with this person but Chris, for some of you guys you guys are keeping it to yourself you know um and you guys are just dealing with a lot but now the worst is behind you you guys have overcome some challenges and obstacles and now things are going to go in your favor and you're going to get what you want because this is your moment. This is your time. It's time for you to be happy. You you know, cutting through the bullshit, tired of the bullshit. You're like, if I'm not happy, I don't want to be involved. So I do see a lot of happiness coming your way. Yep, six of cups, ten of cups. For a lot of you guys, things are going back to how they were. Okay, so if your past was really good with this person or if things are much better between you guys in the past, then that's what you're going to get and even better. Some of you guys are pregnant with twins or somebody's going to find out they're pregnant with twins or someone was pregnant with twins, wants to survive, it will be a boy. Um, that other child is about to come. It's about to come. You're not expecting it, but it's on the way. It could be in the oven already for some of y'all. Okay, for those of you that resonate with that. 
And if you guys were waiting to get pregnant, it was your stress levels. All right, that you're, you're you are stressing a lot. For some of you guys, you guys get like stress um, rashes or stress bumps or something like that, or when you guys uh, stress out, like it throws like your um, pH balance off or something like that. Or like I said, you guys get a rash or itch in a certain area. You know, like it can be like on your arm, your wrist, your hand, something like that. But you guys are stressed. Some of you guys feel like um, some of you guys are like 35 or near 40 and you feel like um some of you guys are ready to have a child or something like that or another one something like that but you guys gotta let go of the stress oh, okay get it something in this relationship didn't unfold the way you wanted it to there's a chance for it to be the way you want it to but that's up to you Aquarius they're leaving it up to you they're leaving it up to you but I still see this baby coming though. Yep. Still see this baby coming. Yeah. We're not gonna go this deep, but for some of you guys, this person had a baby outside the relationship and that really booked you up really bad. All right, or you found out about some type of pregnancy or something like that and it messed you up really, really bad. Okay, um, we're not going to focus on that. Let's put some little cards. Aquarius. We have self-indulgence, so we have self-worth and value. Time to heal. You guys have been healing lately, which is good. We got the dragonfly. So lighthearted, finding out things and change. Things come into light. We have coffin. Yeah, there was a bad ending or some type of ending. Oh, we have karmic relationship, resentment. Let me see. What is this about? Oh, they were in a karmic relationship with somebody. Mm -hmm. There was a karmic between you guys that they cut off or cut out. This karmic is still in love with them. But they are much stronger now, and they are going to completely cut this off. Um, it's more about the lesson that they learned in this situation. So they definitely have learned a huge and valuable lesson. Alrighty. Um, yeah, Aquarius. So a lot going on there. But um, some type of, of karmic relationship is done and over with for good. And you don't have to worry about that situation no more. Okay. So let's go into, we got Pisces and Cancer. All right, we're not going to take that. All right, let's see. Pisces placements. Justice, you have a Libra. We got six of wands. Okay. So somebody wants to um, work things out. All right. For others of you, you guys are getting to know each other. You're excited and anxious to know if this is the one. You know, they're going to be honest and truthful. Thinking about cutting this person off. Let's see, is this person shady? No, I think you're gonna don't sabotage it, Pisces. We got the Wheel of Fortune page of cuts in the, in the higher font with the Justice card, Six of Wands. 
I feel like you're used to this shitty ass people. Like the people that you've been dating, they they're liars. They're no good, and you can't compare your past and people dealt with to this person. If you do, you're not gonna make it. And I feel like that's another reason why you guys are suffering when it comes to your love life because you're comparing what you went through with other people with the new people or the people that you guys are meeting. This person is nothing like them. Okay, this person has really good energy. This person is looking for some type of relationship or some type of commitment. Well, they're looking for a commitment. Okay, and this will be long term. It's in your destiny that you met this person, whether it was destined and meant for y'all to be together for a month, six months, a year, six years, a lifetime, whatever it may be. Okay, this person is in alignment, meaning like they, it was written in the start, they were meant to come into your life for some reason. I said reason, for some reason. Okay. Um, and there will be a relationship. There will be some type of commitment. Okay. It looks like marriage for some of you guys, or this a long-term relationship, okay, between you and this person, but you got to give it a chance, right? So you can't just, don't scare them off. Don't run them away. All right. So yeah, look, judgment. You're judging this person way too soon. Look, and that's you right there. <laughs> Pisces coming up in reverse. Okay. You feel like this person is being secretive but also what you don't realize is that you're being difficult by the way you're handling the situation lashing out seeing things thinking that they're up to something you just need to let things like below go with the flow temperance is here maybe you're still healing from the past maybe you're still healing from the things that you went through but you're not going to move forward if you keep comparing past people to present people but whoever is in your life whether it's a Taurus, sagittarius a libra whoever it is pisces could be a cancer any sign Okay, means and let me know and tells me that that is blocking you guys in love. Okay, you guys are blocking yourselves in love because you guys are focusing on the negative and what the past person did. All right, so let me see something. I just oh, look, two of cups flipped over. So that's another good card. I'm gonna leave it there, Pisces. Okay, let me put a little card for y'all because obviously there's something that y'all are doing and it's pushing this. Um, personal way there's a chance and opportunity there and I feel like y'all need to just see what it's all about okay you need to see what it's all about this person's energy is real good don't don't push away a good thing alrighty let's see not today look you pushing them away. You got your hand out. Talk to the hand. I thought that was old. I thought we don't do that. I ain't heard nobody say talk to the hand in a long time. Are you just giving them the hand, pushing them out, whatever, bye, be mean, be angry, upset. Just because your ex wasn't shit and lied and cheated and was a, a trifling ass motherfucker doesn't mean this person is. Okay, I'm just saying. Look, rejection. You're rejecting them. Consequences. So, the universe is saying, like, look, we got destiny there. The universe is saying, like, all right. You pray, you ask for this person. I try to bring you somebody, but you pushing them away. The universe is like, keep your little stink attitude and your little stink hand up and see what happens, okay? We have frozen because, look, things going to be still, silent, no words, nothing coming in. Don't sabotage this, okay? We have backstabbing. So y'all are still in a heartbreak. Y'all are still in a pain. Y'all are still feeling deceived by what happened in the past. Take it out on that motherfucker, not this person, okay? Pisces, because whoever this is... That's coming in. They seem like a real person. Like they seem like they're legit. They seem like they really want a relationship. Look at this energy. Look at this. Look at this, Pisces. Okay? Look at this person. Look at their energy. These are all good cards. All in the upright. I'm just saying. Just saying, Pisces. Okay? And this will be new love. That's not no ex or anybody coming back new. For those of you that are going to ask in the comments. No. This is somebody brand spanking new. Okay? It ain't no ex. It ain't nobody from six months, six years ago. No. This is somebody new. Somebody that y'all don't even know. All right? So, cancer. Last but not least, we have cancer. Cancer placements. Cancer. Cancer. Uh oh, we got the King of Swords. 
six of swords reverse and the will card reverse. Justice. All right, Cancer. Let's see this is about. Cancer, somebody has a relationship back home. Are you are the person that they have a relationship um, with back home? Let's see. The world card reverse. Somebody's been doing a lot of traveling. Could be with a Scorpio. Yeah, somebody has a relationship back home. Somebody that they go see often. That they've been lying to about. Or they've been lying to somebody about you. This is a long distance secret. Yeah, this is a long distance relationship. And this is some type of secret relationship. Somebody's having some type of affair. Somebody's being secretive. Keeping something at a distance. See, y'all are both at a distance here. Six of Swords Reverse Empress. What is this on the reverse? Yeah. And you guys are unclear on why things are a certain way or why things have to be a certain way. Why this person is moving away and moving, like traveling a lot. For some of you guys, somebody has not took you home yet. Haven't took you to meet their family, their friends or something like that. Or you don't know much about their family. Or like when they travel, they don't take you with them or something like that. Um, let me see on this six of swords in the reverse. They're trying to avoid something. They want something to happen when the timing is right. So they've been... Some of you guys are... For some of you Cancer, some, some of you guys are also dealing with somebody that's from a different ethnic background and they can't bring you home. And that's what this is about. They're not... If they want to be with you, but their family will not accept you, okay? Or their family has somebody lined up for them with the empress here, or wants them to marry somebody, or they want them to marry somebody of their same race, same like their within their culture, not their culture, but like they can have like yeah, like their culture ways. So say like I don't know why I'm here in Haitian. Say like they can be like okay, like if it's not another Haitian, they don't want them to be together. Or I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying, right, though? Cancer. So, there's issues on with their family. And their family accepting you guys. Okay? Um, and then for others of you, there's just a long-distance relationship that is being hidden. And they're really close to, like, family or something like that. Or they were, like, once committed to this person. Or, like, it's, they, they're working on some type of relationship at a distance or something like that. Yeah, because somebody thinks their family will not understand. This person is infatuated with you. They are in love with you. They want to be with you. They want to have a family with you. But need to be honest with you about something. Hmm. Cancer. What is this person not telling cancer? See, they're lying about something. And like, and they don't want you to get upset about something. And it's not as bad as you think it is, but I told you it has to do with family. People not accepting you, their family not accepting you. Or that they just have another relationship at a distance that you don't know about. But they are planning on walking away from that relationship to be with you. Um, and it's a relationship that have been going on since y'all been together or since they've known you. Because, but because they're back and forth so much, they've been able to juggle the both, like, you know, both relationships. But they're trying to walk away from something or trying to end something or, like, they're trying to change their, somebody's mind or something like that or something like that. Let's go a love card, Cancer. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. We have misunderstood. They feel like you won't understand them. Or they feel like you don't under you won't understand where they're coming from or what they got going on. We have twin flames. Maybe um you feel like this is a twin flame connection. 
We have teddy bear interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, wants to date. So this person, like I said, they're into you, but they just have a secret life, a double life, or something about their cultural beliefs or something like that. Coffee cup, meeting on talking, savor in the moment, feeling if I um elevated, I mean elevated, sorry, and building friendship. So this is somebody that wants to be with you guys. You guys been building and working on things for a while or they want things to continue building between you guys, but and they look at your pictures, they think about you often. Y'all know each other from a past life. Yeah, see, they want only you, but there's something they need to let go of. They need to move on from something. Someone. Sunglasses, watching, looking. So, like, their focus is on you. You are their main focus, but they need to walk away or let something go or, like, change something or fix something in order for y'all to be together first or something like that or get their family or somebody or something like that to accept you guys cancer okay so that is what i have for you cancer that is your reading if it resonated for all the zodiac signs for all the zodiac signs if this reading resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys love to book with me you already know by your intuition all right bye collective i love you guys bye